What's this? I built the base. You built the base. I built the base. Yeah. I built the base. Look, it's got windows. It does have windows. Yes, I have to show you my base. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go outside. Go outside. Do yeah, it. I, I, I have been busy. Yeah, and uh, so have the stalkers. I don't know if you can tell. Mm, I can't. They... Do you, look to your left. Uh-huh. Uh, do you see that marker back there? What, the... It's my... like... No, to the left. Oh, yeah, the camera. Yeah, so they pick up the cameras oh. and drop them. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I, I saw a comment just um, asking, like, hey, what's what's stalkers? But, but yeah, it's, it's a... Anna's always talking about stalkers. Yeah, it's not like in uh, in Dead Space. Or Warframe. <laughs> or Warframe, yeah. So, check it out. It's just a work in progress, and I can't get, build that many different things yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is very nice, right? I, I have built a, a, a tower. Mm -hmm. Working name is Ace of Base. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's room for being able to expand this even further. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have these flashy spotlights. Mm -hmm. They look very nice in the in, at night. At night, yes. Yeah, so with you a, can with see the solar panel night, and yeah. all and all mm -hmm. of that jazz. And uh, I've also well, learned what. You see, ooh, look, it's my growing things. I got mm -hmm. growing things. I got growing things on the outside too. Okay, that's good. I also learned uh, what happens if you uh, don't have enough hull integrity, and this place gets flooded and and all yeah. of that. And I had to repair it and stuff. Mm -hmm. And power is ticking up now. Uh, it would. I had to build. How many bioreactors do you have? I have two. Oh, okay. Uh, because I was actually, I, I was, I was <laughs> being so busy. Oh no, that was wrong. I was so busy that I was actually running at a power deficit. Yeah. So I had to build a second, uh, second reactor. So. I want to teach you something about the bioreactor. You're putting fish in. I mean, that's perfectly fine. I know fine. you can put in like mushrooms and stuff as, yeah, as well. Yeah, different items have different values of how much power they're going to give, right? Gotcha. So the small, you can also put in creature eggs. I suggest you don't do that for okay. now, but those are actually nice. And we're going to find uh, a different mushroom later that I usually use. It's called a deep mushroom or deep shroom. I think right. those are really good for that purpose, in my opinion. All right. So, uh, I have uh, a scanner room as well. I've mm -hmm. already built some uh, some upgrades for the scanner room. It's, it's, it's scanning stuff for me, I guess. It's draining a lot of power, so... Yeah, um, but I'm, it's fine. I'm actually yeah. ticking up all yeah, bite yeah. slowly. Mm -hmm. And I've got a battery charging station. Nice. So, let's see. Power 100. Uh, it's power 100. No, why did I unload? That uh. was dumb. Here we go. Uh, power 100. Power 100, and so, so I got I got batteries for everything. Batteries for days. Now, unfortunately, I have not yet built a power cell. Um, That's fine. Recharging thing, but I have a second power cell because I was running low on my. Oh, you were on your. Yeah, because right. I've been driving around and building stuff. Oh a yeah. A lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and I didn't even show you uh, the nicest thing I built. The nicest thing you built. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, eh. So far, we have two bioreactors. Mm -hmm. Nothing yet on this floor. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing yet on this floor. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and this is my office. Oh, that's nice. It's a lot of like, oh, you can see the other. Can you see the aurora from here? Oh, yes, yeah. you can. Yes, you can. All so, right. Yeah, so, so this is this, this is my, is my nifty office. Do you have a bed yet? No, I don't. Okay. So this is what I can build. Okay. Yeah, you're going to find beds later. Oh, that's nice. Scan. So I don't can, think that's yeah. a spoiler. <laughs> so you can see uh, the aurora. You can see my little lifeboaty thing and whatever. All right. Uh, so I figured uh, what we could do is we can go back to. I don't have. I haven't built a radio here yet. I, so I think it's fine. So I'd have to go back to my life pod. And I I do suggest that's actually the first thing you do because it's like, as you guys can tell, it took some a while to do this. So. I, I might have missed a thing that that I was supposed to. I don't know. Who knows? We'll we'll see. We'll see if I've missed something or not. Uh, but I haven't listened to the radio in a while. So let's have a look at what. And now that I'm much says. more fluid in playing the game because I've been fiddling around by myself. Mmm, tasty yeah. first aid kit. Look at look at look at that. And it's like I've I've emptied everything. I don't yes. have it. Everything exactly. is at my my normal base now. So let's listen to okay. the radio. Mm-hmm. This is Sunbeam. Hmm. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former. 
But that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Yeah. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. All right. Yeah, I'm f I, I figure there's going to be do a second they, crash. Do they have... I was going to say, yeah, so far we're the only survivor. Is there another message, actually? Or is that it? Yes. Um, no, okay. that's it. All right, let's 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 keep a watch out. So I suggest, because you're eventually going to get, like, the uh, sunbeam actually telling you, hey, we're, like, 40 minutes out. So we just oh. kind of have to watch out for that one. Gotcha. Uh, now... We still have stuff to do, though. Okay. Uh, we ha we have these signals that we haven't checked out yet. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we can do that in the meantime. Oh, yeah. I just gotta see if I got uh, some water I can bring. Yeah, by the way, I don't know if you noticed what just happened, but you got out of the CMOS while it was driving and it knocked into you and you hurt yourself. I've been wondering why that sometimes happens. <laughs> yeah, if you get out of it before it's stopped, you kind of bonk yourself, so... Gotcha. Well, now I know why I sometimes take damage. <laughs> well. Alright. Yeah, just explore a bit. And I mean, it's like you don't always have to follow Mac markers. Like, I realized actually we had a misunderstanding also last time we were recording. Because when I say explore, it's literally just like driving around. Like, to me, following a map marker is the opposite of exploration, kind of. Oh. So when I say like explore a bit as that an option, I kind of just mean like, I don't know, like just drive or pick a direction, kind of. And. Well, I have, drive done, around. I, I have done a fair share of that, too. Actually, speaking of pick a direction, you know, there's something that you've had the blueprint for for a while, I think, and never build, and that is a compass. Correct. Because that will show you just the direction. Are you driving north, south? I think for you, especially with your sense of direction, that's going to be really helpful in the future. Well, yeah, but uh, but I, I know I have been able to build a, build a compass, and I haven't done it. Yeah. Uh, so. But I haven't really needed it all that much, either. Uh, but I would like to find some more wreckage and find some more blueprints because now yeah. I want to expand my base. And that's why explore is important. And if I knew what direction you're driving in, it could help me to see if there's something interesting. Mm. I would suggest that you make sure you see the seafloor so you could see. Oh, whoa, this is new. Oh, yeah. This is a new biome. Oh, this is a new biome. And I want you to check it out. Obviously, there's stuff here. Now, the good news is, remember when you were playing off-camera and you were so frustrated and asking me where you can find lithium? Uh-huh. Yeah, here. Uh. I just didn't want to send you here off-camera, because... Uh. Gotcha. Well... I think it's just cool to experience this place. I really like it, like, <clears throat> visually. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Um... Picking up faint. It does look very cool. Um, however, mm -hmm. aha, um, I did find some more lithium by finding like a cave. I know. Uh, that I couldn't really explore as much as I wanted to, but I could explore it a little bit. But yeah, but this is a good place. So at, at the bottom, kind of just like on the sea floor, on the roots of these big shrooms. Um, so this is a mushroom tree forest, I think it's called. There's two of them actually. Um, and it just, I think it's just like a cool biome, and you just heard her say like it's picking up faint Altera vehicle signatures. So that's mm. kind of a way of the game tells you like, hey, there's wreckage here. Are these guys friendly or hostile? They're friendly. They're friendly? Mm -hmm. This is a, there's two, one of them is completely peaceful and the other forest has, I think, a couple of sand shark things. So I'm not sure, but n neither of these biomes i think are oh i'm just i just want to scan this here jelly yeah. ray so and you definitely this is a place i can tell you this much look to the under that thing under that do you see that yeah there's some good stuff to be scanned here cyclops Ooh. Uh, Ooh. someone crashed like a submarine around oh, here. Oh, lithium. So it's very important. And I mean, you can do some of it off camera here later, but I just can't tell you this and any viewers that haven't played the game right now, the mushroom tree forest is a place you want to comb. Mm. Mm. Eventually. Understood. Yeah. And I just Ow. love the aesthetics of it, honestly. Like. Yeah. Ooh, purple stuff. Mm hmm. I like purple stuff. Might also want to repair here. 
Let's yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, that wasn't a thing. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I do think I have the repair thing here. Yes, I do. Uh, let's put that at one. Yeah, I did notice that it was getting a bit... A bit on the, uh, dented. Yeah, I just always like to keep it at 100. Like, if I'm at, at like, 85 and above, I don't usually bother, but that's usually the point. Under that, I just give it all. Oh, you can go further down. Mm. But not with the sea moth. The sea moth no. is getting down to, uh... To critical level. Oh yeah, that's true. So I'd have to I have to leave this. There's a really big tree. Check it out. This one? Hmm? The Lifa tree. Oh. <clears throat> so you're saying I should check this tree out? I'm just like look around, you know, like enjoy it. I just meant like look oh, yeah. big tree. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah. big tree. Big tree is nice. Man, I am so far down. <laughs> And I know this is like nothing compared to how far down I'm probably gonna go. Mm. Ooh, okay. Oh, I also found another data pod that I picked up uh, off screen that I haven't. Um... All right, well then. Yeah, it's how you got more voice log. Yeah. Now, uh, is that it? I think so. Maybe check the outside. I don't think this. I actually think this one really has nothing except for the PDA, but I'm not 100% sure, so it helps to be. Mm. I think the purpose, I mean, you can tell already, right? This is the game's way of telling you, look at this place. Look at that place. Kind yeah. Of. No, but I just figured since, like, uh, since we're here, mm -hmm. and it came all this way. Ooh, a new kind of preacher egg. What's the thumpy sound? So? It's either you hitting a fish with something or a fish hitting your sea moth. Yeah, it might be it. Uh, but I but I was like, maybe there's something here. I came all this way. Maybe. I mean, there's cool stuff here. You just gotta... Yeah, I did scan one thing that gave me a thing thing. Uh, like, for the Cyclops. I kinda, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that we're here at night now. Because I really like like the bioluminescent look of this place. At oh night. yeah, it's, no, it's beautiful. It's, it's really pretty. Uh, so. It is nice. Ooh, what's that? Is that a new kind of fish? No, I've I've seen that kind of yeah. fish before. You have. But what about scannable fragments? Mm. Oh, they're here. The question is just, do you want to do that on or off screen? It's it's literally just like driving along the floor here. That looks like one. That is. Aha. Some mod station. <gasps> mod station. Mm -hmm. Modification station. Ooh. What kind of modifications? You wanna you want me to tell you? Body modification. No, you get um. You get like better uh, fin and tank upgrades in there. Once you find the recipes, you just need the station to craft them and upgrade modules for your sea moth. Ooh, I've, I've noticed that my sea moth has a little pod where you can put upgrades, but I don't have any upgrades to put yeah. in the pod. So there's a bunch of stuff. You'll find those eventually. So the mod station doesn't unlock all of that. It unlocks some things, but you'll still have to find like data boxes, etc., for all of that. But you can have a solar charger for your sea moth eventually, for example. Oh, so it recharges its uh, power cell. As long as you're close to sunlight, yep. Oh. And others. I don't want to like say or spoil. So many fish here. Look, I see something. That thing. No. We shall scan that thing. Another part of the Cyclops, which is exciting to me. Yeah. Um. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So that's one of three for one piece of the Cyclops. So, exactly. So the Cyclops is a project. It is. It's going to take a while yep. until I get the Cyclops. There are three parts that have three scans each. Oops, oops, Hostile oops, oops. Management. Crush depth, crush depth. Yeah. Wasn't paying attention. Mm. That was me being a silly goose. Mm. All right. And oh, now I got a radio signal. Should probably check that out then. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Uh, we also have another uh, thing, and that is the uh, uh, 
the proposed uh, Degasi habitat. Mm. Now, I was curious about one thing. Yeah. And that is... Ooh, can always get some more salvage. Mm -hmm. Always. Um, I under... Like, the Degasi... That's not the Aurora. No. So they crashed a, here before us. They crashed here before us. But I'm wondering, because there's, like, other kind of things with life pods and whatnot, and it's it's just... It makes me sort of wonder, like, how long have I been here? Turn around, by the way. I don't know. Like, I just figure, like, look at the overview of the mushroom forest a bit, like, you know, just look at it all, like... Yeah. Looks nice. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's neat. It's neat. I will come back to the mushroom forest. Yeah. Now that I know sort of kind of I just like the look is. of it. I'm sorry. Yeah, just, like, is that more salvage? That's more salvage. That is more salvage. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll, I think I'll be able to find my way back here. Mm-hmm. Um, no, because it's like, oh, I'm the only survivor, it seems, and everyone else is dead. But I'm, I'm just curious, like... Have I just been sleeping in my pod for like a month or so while everything else has been happening? Because we find I these logs from people who seem to have like been here for a while. I don't think so. I'm a bit... I, I don't I, think that will ever get answered to be honest, but I personally don't believe you. Because I just found some strangeness when it comes to just the timeline of events. Like when did everything happen? Because I think, like, the only people that basically survived leaving their life pod that we've seen of so far is uh, just second Officer Keen and Officer Yu. Uh, so they just left their life pod, went to that island, right? And then went back to the Aurora. Mm. And I think my theory is kind of, like, they got, like, messed up as... Either they ran into something, or they got messed up from the explosion, actually. Oh. Because they... Yeah, but I don't know. Understood. For sure, to be honest. I never really considered that we've been stuck in that life for a while. But it was kind of burning, you know, when we yeah. crashed. So I, I actually... Because we... Yeah, I don't know. Because we get that opening sequence of us crashing to the planet, and then we wake up and the life pod is burning. So that yeah. makes me assume we so just weird. crashed just now. Anyway. Mm -hmm. This is life pod four. Hmm. We've oh. landed close to the Aurora. Flotation <clears throat> device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're going to last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Gotcha. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. So I'd need the rad suit to, to get to those people. And you don't actually get, like, you don't get a signal for that. Oh. Because they're, like, uh, data location corrupted and they're just, like, kind of somewhere around the Aurora. Hmm. Um, all right. Well, um, I still have the Degasi habitat. Mm hmm. However,. Ah, I am getting a bit hungry, mm -hmm. so I'm just grabbing some quick snacks. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back to good old Ace of Base, mm. cook up a hearty meal, and then we're gonna check out the habitat. Should have just done what I did earlier and just load up on Princess Torta at work. <gasps> really? Yeah. Now, people, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Sweden has actually actually it's got pretty good cake game at least as far as princess torta is concerned this is a um a, a whipped cream jam and marzipan cake mm. it's not bad it's got your cake bottom it's got your uh it's, it's got a, a a a sheet of green marzipan covering it I know, people. I know, green. But it's don't don't worry about it. It's just marzipan. You know, we we were celebrating this, and I, we had a lot of Americans over for a workshop right now, and a lot of them just left over the marzipan, and I'm like, why would you do that? And why I've been wondering that? if they thought it was fondant, fondant. Oh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe that was it. it. But they just left it, and I'm like, How why? Could you? How could you? His marzipan is so good. It's a crime. 
You can't leave that. It's like, I can literally just eat pure marzipan. And I mean, I uh, don't... That's a bit... I, I shouldn't because it's, you know, just sugar. But I can. It's so good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I could just eat marzipan. 